All right, that was one box of our Dunkin' Donuts that I just cut into kind of bite-sized pizzas. So I'm gonna take all of our beautiful cut donuts and we are just gonna pop this into our grease 13 by nine, just like so. And I used the variety pack of donuts for this delicious and easy breakfast. Ooh, look at all those donuts. All right, I'm coming in with our whole milk and I'm just gonna go in with maybe about a cup of that whole milk right on top of our variety pack of donuts, just like so. Just kind of to cover them lightly. I'm coming in next with our heavy whipping cream and same thing, I'm going in with about a cup right on top of our sprinkle, our glaze, our maple bars, our chocolate and our jelly filled. Ooh, delicious. And then I have three eggs. I'm just gonna scramble those up just ever so gently. We're gonna go right over top of our donut and milk mix. Perfect. Ooh, yummy. All right, I'm coming in next. I have some sea salt just to add some salt and we wanna contrast all that sweet, right? So just a touch. And then to kind of warm it up, I have some ground nutmeg. I love using nutmeg to contrast the sweetness of the donuts. And then of course our vanilla abstract and just a hair, not too much. Perfect. And then, just to kind of give us a crystallized, beautiful little crust, I'm going in with some light brown sugar. You could also do the dark brown. I think the light brown is perfect and not too sweet to contrast our donuts. We've got a fourth cup of that brown sugar all over top. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna give this a big healthy stir, just like so. This is gonna be a great kind of brunch, recipe and just kind of making sure we got all those donuts kind of into bite-sized pizzas and we're gonna let all of our liquid kind of absorb into our donuts this is gonna be my play on kind of a traditional dessert but i'm also gonna kind of make it a brunch recipe my friends and family love 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 this and you can feel free to do a variety of donuts you could just do the chocolate you could just do original you could do crispy cream if that's your preference we're Dunkin' people at this point. Yeah, but we are, we are Dunkin' family, so I went with the Dunkin' variety pack. All right, I'm just making sure that all of those are kind of evenly patted down in my grease 13 by nine. All right, we're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes, and then we are going to pop it into our oven for about 20 minutes at 350. Oh my goodness, our donut bread pudding just came out of the oven. It looks so delicious, but we are not finished yet. I'm going in with just some powdered sugar. You could also do like a maple syrup. You could do a chocolate syrup. Ooh, delicious. Making sure it rains all over our amazing donut brown pudding. All right, perfect. I'm ready to serve this up. I have my plate ready. I want a corner piece. I'm a corner piece girly. We did grease our 13 by nine, so this should come right out. I wanna see if I can get a couple of those donuts. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at how delicious. We have a chocolate, we have a cream filled, we have a glazed, we have our powdered sugar. This is going to be absolutely delicious. I think I wanna try maybe some of that chocolate first. Oh, yum. Oh my goodness. Really good, sweet, with that powdered sugar, delicious. You gotta try it.